now you know what the graphical modeler is and now you know what a model does. So in this video we are going to start creating our model. The first thing we have to do is to define the inputs. That is, define the information that the user will have to enter when he wants to execute this model. In our case it's very simple. I remind you we are trying to create a model that takes a detailization model and calculates topographic indices. So the only input that we need is the raster layer, which represents a digital elevation model. Here is a list of all the available inputs that I can add to my model. And here is raster layer. So if I want to add it, I just have to select it and press the add button or simply double click in here. I double click on raster layer. And here I have this very simple dialog to define that input that is going to appear in the parameters window of our model. This is going to be a detailization model, so I type here DEM. You're always going to find this description fill for all the different types of inputs that I can add to a model. You're always going to find this description fill, which is the name that the user will see when he has to enter a value for that parameter. In this case, as I said, it's a raster layer and it's going to be a detailization model. So that's the name that I'm giving it, DEM. And then you will see some other options which uh, change depending on the kind of input that you're, you're adding. In this case, the only option they have is to select if the input is mandatory or not. In Sextante, you can have mandatory or optional raster layers as input. In this case, it's a mandatory one because without it, I cannot execute the algorithms that uh, take part in, in this model. So this is all the information that I need. I just press an OK. And here I have the first element of my model, a digital elevation model, which is an input. And this is the only input that I need. So this is all that we need to define the inputs for our model. But we are going to talk a bit more about the other options that we see. Most of them are very similar. If I want to add, add for example, numerical value, I just double click on here, and I will see this dialog, which is pretty similar. You just enter the name, and then if you want a minimum or maximum value, then the default value and the value type. As you see, they're all very similar. And that's the same for most of them. There are three kind of inputs that are a little bit more peculiar. There are band, field, and selection. You see here now band, we can select this kind of input, band. But at the beginning of this video, this name ban it was written in gray, just like Phil is written right now. This is because uh, it follows the same schema as in the in the algorithms uh, that appear in the toolbox. When they're in gray, it means they're not available. When they're in black, it means they're available. And in this case, field is not available. Ban is available now, but it wasn't available in the beginning because they depend, these two kind of inputs, they depend on another input. Field depend on a vector layer because that's a field from the attribute table of a vector layer and band is a band from a raster layer. So at the beginning I could not add this kind of inputs because I had no raster layers and no vector layers. Right now I have a raster layer. Here it is, the evaluation model. So since I have this DEM, this raster layer, now I can add a band. And you see I have to enter the name, the description, and then the parent layer. Before adding the raster layer, I had no parent layers, and that was the reason why I could not add a band. And this is what happens now with field kind of type of input, because I don't have a, a vector layer added to my model. The other peculiar input that I have is selection. Selection is a list of options that the user, and the user has to select one of them. If I double click on selection here, you will see that you cannot define these options. But instead, what you can do is take the options from an algorithm that has some kind of option itself. For example, if I go to basic hydraulical analysis in this group, I have channel network. And channel network, it has one selection parameter, which is called criteria. Or for accumulation, it has one that is called method. So I can select that, and then the user will have the option of selecting one of these different values, but I cannot enter the values myself. This is like that because if I could enter the values myself, then there's no other way of using those values than selecting something 
in one of the algorithms that I'm adding to the model, so it would make no sense. Since I'm going to use this to select something in an algorithm, the options that I have to give to the user who executes, uh, executes this model should be the same options that I'm going to have in this algorithm that I'm going to execute later within the model.